That was the first one he locked into, right? What led to a video based mostly in San Francisco? I think COVID kind of put us in that position. And me and Kevin Braun both live in San Francisco. So being restricted there during COVID just happened naturally. Typically we'd be out traveling and filming like we were previous years, but since we weren't doing that, we're still gonna skate, so. I like skating in San Francisco because you don't need a car. Like I can wake up and just go outside and start pushing and just find something to go skate. Whereas growing up in Florida, you need a car to go skate anywhere. And also skateboarding is pretty illegal like in downtown Tampa, like whereas San Francisco, they do kick you out and there is some security guards who are mean, but typically you can get away with just skating. All right. Thank you. Yeah, she was nice. Being able to make a project with Kevin Braun. We both have such different styles and different ways that we skate. I just really appreciated that we could be in this video together and I think it made it more well-rounded. Sick. Yeah, Kev? Me and him, outside of skateboarding and outside of Santa Cruz, we're friends. I mean, we hang out together, not even skating. I think probably like 95% of my part was in San Francisco. I know that my fakey tray flip and then switch right off over this like stairway gap in front of a house, that was down in San Diego and that was on a trip when we turned Jake Wooten Pro. I think that might be the only one that wasn't in San Francisco or Bay Area surrounding. Oh hey, didn't see you there. Welcome to my quarantine. The pandemic did create challenges because in San Francisco, we were locked down. We had curfews for, for months, but once that started to ease a little bit, we got back to skating and got the ball rolling. My previous part was Santa Cruz Till the End Volume 5. It had me, Mario McCoy, and Emmanuel Guzman. So for me, being in a video with not only Mario, who's my friend, and love watching him skate, but Emmanuel Guzman, who is also a friend, but more of an OG, somebody that I've looked up to since I was young and never even thought I'd be on Santa Cruz. To be able to share a video with him, out of just like the respect I have for him was, it meant a lot for me. And as far as my part goes, that was me filming, hoping I was going to turn pro and doing all that. I feel like the other part was a little easier to put together in the sense that we traveled a lot for it. We were in Argentina, Barcelona, throughout Europe and also throughout the U.S. So you get the excitement of being in a new place, new spot, you get to film these different things. Whereas filming it in San Francisco, almost had to think about it more and like, all right, like we have to go into the same city we've been living in and skating and try to find these new spots or go back to spots we've already skated and think of a new trick. So I think in that sense, it made it slightly harder. And then I also got hurt at the ending of this last video. I sprained my ACL and tore a ligament in my hand and my thumb and fractured a bone in my hand all the same day. The adrenaline was going, so I, I didn't know how bad everything was hurt. And I just kept trying, trying, and I ended up getting the clip. And then, yeah, I got the cast on like a week later and I didn't know I had sprained my ACL yet. I continued to skate for another week and then I was trying to jump off this food truck into a bank and that's when I realized my knee was really hurt. <laughs> yeah, 
Good? Fuck yeah, Jeremy. Definitely wasn't the smartest move to go from a slightly hyperextended knee to jumping off like a six foot drop into a bank. It all happened like the last three weeks of filming, like deadlines coming up. So it kind of limited me from doing like the deadline tricks that, you know, you kind of wait till the end of the video to do so you can, you don't get hurt in the beginning and can't film the whole part. I think I got maybe two tricks with the cast on, definitely one. It was a gap to a metal fence in front of someone's house. And I did bump to crooked grind on it, had the fresh cast on. Definitely fell pretty hard trying that. I hadn't skated for like a week. I was still like, was unsure about my knee at the time. And, and I landed on my board and just slipped out and I couldn't put my hand down because of the cast. It looks like I hit my head in the clip, but I just got like whiplash and was so close to smacking my head. But luckily I didn't. Yeah, that was it, you were rolling. You good? Hit the hand? That, that's probably the, the worst fall I had after the injury. I feel like only good things comes when you're riding with E. Got E there, got E on the cast. You can see it in the clip, I got the purple cast on. And it was a purple cast for Henry. Henry Garland passing away. The last maybe four months of filming for the video definitely just made it harder to go skate and focus because it was just a very sad situation. But eventually we turned that sadness of it into more motivation while we're out skating and like we're doing it for Henry. So me and Kevin had a two-page Santa Cruz ad for the video. I did a drop-in, ride on grind, pop out over some stairs. And yeah, Kevin's was a switch heel over a gap. I'd been planning to skate that spot for a few months that I'd just been driving by and seeing it. The art that's surrounding like the border is one of my graphics and one of Kevin's graphics. And then also throughout that, there's photos. And those photos are that Kevin took and I took. Some were film photos that I took. I think some were iPhone photos, but they're all pretty San Francisco-based photos. And also photos of our friends. Like, I got my dog Leah in it in one photo. I'm holding her up, which means a lot to me. A photo of Henry that I took is in there. My boy Travis Jones is in it in one of the photos, one of my best friends I grew up with. So just being able to submit something that got put into it that means more to me and I'm sure Kevin as well with the photos he submitted versus just like a photo got shot of us and it's in this magazine. Definitely like that's my favorite photo in the magazine that I've had. Definitely stoked. I'm happy with how it came out. I'm really psyched on my song. I'm more psyched on Kevin's song. I didn't even hear his song until the video came out. And I think it's really cool that Zion has clips in it. Little Zion Fs. Like him being welcome to the team in that way, I think is really sick. It was really cool to see him skating EMB that day, which those are the clips that are of him in the video.
filming a video can get pretty stressful just because there's deadlines, there's expectations, I guess, but a lot of that's also, you put it on yourself. You put that stress on yourself to get it done. But the main thing is just go skate. As long as you go skate, the days when you're tired and sore, like as long as you just go out there and skate, a lot of the clips I have are days that we didn't really plan to like go to a certain spot or go to a certain thing, but we just met up and went skating for the whole day. We saw the spot, we got super excited and it happened. Just trust the process. <laughs> Dude, I've never filmed one of those before. Thanks for checking out this video. Click subscribe to see all the squad. Subscribe. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss out on the latest videos. Be a part of this. Subscribe to the Santa Cruz YouTube channel.